everybody if you can hear me okay drop a one in the chat if you can hear me okay perfect perfect let me go ahead and get my camera together go ahead all right drop a two if you can see me everybody drop a two in the chat Perfect, perfect, perfect. Welcome, 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 Chairwomen. I'm so honored to be um, welcome you all to this exclusive webinar called Miss Dominate. You guys, you are about to be a part of an amazing experience. If you were on part one, go ahead and let me know in the chat. Like, what do you guys think about the Miss Dominate? If you were on yesterday's call or even last week's, go ahead and just drop one word that describes how you felt about this particular experience. Let's see what we got in the chat love dominate inspirational all right all right inspired let's go mind blown no honestly chairwoman that's what i'm talking about let's go you guys i need to see the chats blitzing i need to know you guys are active and that you are here powerful perfect this is loved. I love these adjectives. I love how you guys are describing this experience this experience that we're going to be having tonight is going to be one like no other you guys so of course we, we've heard from our wonderful chairwoman these past few days but who i want to bring up tonight is let me give you guys a quick backstory about how i met this particular individual so um before i came into this business um, my name is jayana by the way <laughs> didn't say that i go by jayana the queen um so before i came into this particular space I was, you know, not in the business, but I was searching for a mentor. I was searching for someone to help me reach the next level of my life, reach financial freedom, reach time freedom. So I'm on Instagram, you guys, and I'm just scrolling through, you know, plethora of women and, you know, just different mentors who are in this particular space. And I come across this individual's page. Now, at the time, she was doing um, a giveaway for um, one of the uh, Lifestyle Leap events. And so that means, you know, she's invested her time, she's invested her energy into making sure that people were exposed to this information. So I hit her up on Instagram and I, you know, give her the reason why she should choose me for this particular spot. And so fortunately she thought, um, you know, enough of me to actually, you know, help sponsor me to get to this event. Again, I'm not in the business. I have no idea what this space is, you guys. So I get to the event. And of course, if you've been to any of the events in, within this particular organization, or within this particular company, mm -hmm. you know that my life was changed because that's what happens. Mm -hmm. And so in that experience, I saw her for the first time on stage. And when I tell you this woman blew me away, she blew me away, you guys. She got on the stage and she said something that I would never forget and something that I would have to remember on this journey that I'm taking for myself. She told me, and she told the wonderful women in the wonderful audience of thousands that it's not motivation that keeps us going. Motivation is a gas that, you know, that fuels us up. Like we can be motivated, we can have that pumped up feeling and then boom, the next day it, it could be gone. But it takes dedication to continue to keep going, you guys. It takes dedication to actually go further and push harder in this industry, and in this space. It takes dedication to dominate and this individual that i'm about to bring up you guys is miss dominate herself this individual has changed my life and not only mine but she's made impact for thousands in her family thousands of people in our organization and she's been able to impact so many lives around her not only is she a chairwoman in this particular industry she's a best-selling author you guys she's a woman who's created so much success for other people and when i say dominate i need you guys to drop a dominate in the chat drop a dominate in the chat and i need a blitz in you guys i need to see dominate until my um, until my face turns blue because this individual dominates she dominates you guys this is a person who is more than gifted more than talented and she is a person who's going to create generational, generational wealth for not only her family, which she's already has, but for all the families around her. She's a person that puts impact over income every single time. And tonight you're about to hear from her. So before you do anything, before you even continue listening to me, I need you to make sure that you are taking notes. I need to make sure that you have a notebook right now. Like I need a one, drop a one if you have your notebook ready because I don't need you to miss anything that she says. I don't need you to miss how you can dominate in this industry like she has. I don't need you to miss how you can make impact in this industry as she has. I need you to learn how to dominate from her. 
I need you to know that this person is about to pour so much value into you. And I hope you guys don't let anybody miss this. I hope you don't miss it. So go ahead and get ready to hear from not just a chairwoman 25 loading, not just a best-selling author, not just a person who is all about empowerment in every sense. You are about to hear from Miss Dominate herself. You're about to hear from the woman there, Miss Taylor Allen. Taylor, are you on with us? I am on, Jayana. Miss Dominate family, how are you guys feeling? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Look, your girl, look, I'm gonna just be honest with you. Your girl is out here in the trenches, I ain't gonna lie. I thought the event was gonna be over. It wasn't over in time. So I said, you know what? It's all good. We're gonna be doing Miss Dominate from outside. That's completely fine, cause we outside, okay? We're outside. Look, we just wrapped an event. This is how you get it done, okay? So what I want you guys to do though, before I hop into it, is you gotta go back in your chat. Go back in your chat. And what I mean by that is, is go, go get an OTC. Go grab a chairwoman right now. Not even just for me. I got my sis chairwoman Nicole on the call. We got to do better than this. Go get in your chats again. Drop a screenshot. Let them know Miss Dominate is live. If you want chairwoman, be on this call tonight. What are you doing? Are you awake? I know you awake. It's Saturday. Your dreams are waiting on you. Your dreams are looking for you. Make sure that they're on this call tonight. All right? Not even just for me, like I said. Literally, I got, I got a, a chairwoman on the line, so I'm going to get in and I'm going to get out. Because the value that she's going to bring, oh, yeah, yeah. We just, we just got to get to it. So, of course, of course, you guys are going to hear from me on Miss Dominate. And I made sure that I was going to actually be able to speak into this topic, into this whole entire reason why I even came up with Miss Dominate. And I'm going to be honest with you. If you got in a gym, whether it was from part two or part one, if you got something that literally just made you feel so empowered, so happy, so excited, drop, drop your favorite emoji in the chat. If you heard something on these calls so far that just made you feel juiced, that just made you feel good about yourself, that just made you feel excited, that just made you feel like, man, I could do anything. Like I'm a superwoman. Like I just really, really got this. I really got this. I know you heard something like that. I know you have. I know you have. Now get this. That is not what I had in mind when I thought of Miss Dominate. That might blow your mind. That is not what I had in mind. I did not have in mind this beautiful, picture perfect, flowers, dainty. Y'all seen, seen the flyers? Dainty, happy. I, I didn't have that in mind. I didn't have a, a, a super woman in mind when I thought of Miss Dominate. I didn't have a... a, a a, a, a super powerful chairwoman 750 in mind when I thought of Miss Dominate. Can I tell you guys the truth? Put truth in the chat if I can keep it real honest with you. If I can tell you the truth of why I even thought of Miss Dominate, what was literally on my mind. I met an event, specifically, you know what's crazy? Nicole, what's crazy to this is that I came up with Miss Dominate while I was at the event at Run the Play. And I'm sitting there run the play. And honestly, you guys, it's something going on in my heart that's burning me. Right? It's things going on in my life that's burning me. Has anybody ever felt like that? Where it was stuff going on in your life and it's just burning you. I'm in the crowd tearing up. I'm in the crowd crying. I slick. I think I had, what did I have? I had a mask on. I slick couldn't even take my mask off. Because I felt like if I took my mask off, people would see that my nose is red and tears are falling down my eyes. I'm at run the play as a chairwoman 10. And I'm literally sitting there burning, upset, disgusted even. And I think to myself, God drops it in my spirit. Everybody put drop. See, sometimes God is so good, he'll drop something in your spirit. When you really looking for him, when you really searching for him, when you really get down and you just say, Lord, you got to direct me. Lord, you got to do something. Lord, you got to shake. Lord, you got to move. He'll drop something in your spirit. And all I could hear was Miss Dominate. And I said, Lord, I don't think that's it. <laughs> I said, Lord, I don't think that's what you want to drop on me today. Because I'm not dominating right now. 
everybody is so excited, so happy. And all I could think about is the things that are going on in my life. What do I need to do when he drops Miss Dominate? Everybody put Dominate in the chat. He drops Miss Dominate in my spirit. And I didn't know what it meant at the time. I didn't know it was going to be a call. I didn't know it was going to be like an online event. I didn't know anything, but I wrote it in my notebook anyway. All of my leaders know in my notebook is one half where my notes are and one half where, I, where God is speaking. Because God is always speaking. You just have to always be listening for him. So one half of my notebook has my notes and the other half of my notebook always has something that God is saying to me. He drops Miss Dominate. And I wanted to tell you guys that because personal growth and, and self-care, these things can be uh, misleading. And I know my chairwoman, Nicole, would agree with me. You think it's going to feel so good. See, when you say that I'm going to step up and I'm going to be the first six-figure earner in my family, it makes you feel good. You think it's going to feel like sunshine and flowers. You think it's going to be just this easy uh, yellow brick road. But can I tell you to dominate, there's a process. Everybody put process in the chat. See, before you could even dominate, there's a process that you have to go through. I want to talk about two different processes tonight. And I'm going to pass it over to my sister. Because just as amazing as dominate may make you feel, just as in, in, in uh, empowered that dominate can make you feel, I need you to understand that there's a process before you even get to her. And that process, Oh, 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 it's, 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 it's very special. It, it's none like, it's like none other. See, when I heard my sis, Chairwoman Nicole, who you guys are going to hear from tonight, see, there was a certain tone in her voice. It was a certain way that a chairwoman walks that you know she'd been through a process. It's a certain, it's like a certain, even when they speak, it's like something, it's like, I'm so empowered. I'm so, I'm, I'm so, you know, uh, inspired by you. But there's something about your voice that just says that this didn't just come with just sunshine. It's something about your voice that says it was some rain that you endured. It's something about your voice that says it was some crushing that you had to feel. It's something about your voice. Has anybody ever heard anybody speak like that? Where you said as, as amazing as as inspired as I am, it's something about how you moving that's just really letting me know that you had to push through some things. It's something about the way that you talk that you letting me know that it had to, it was something that, it was something a part of your process. And you may never see it and you may never know it because you're listening to these chairwomen and you see where they are now, but I want to give it to you because I know you're going chairwoman. If you know you're going chairwoman, put chairwoman in the chat because I want to tell you how in the world do you even get into a spot to how these women are dominating. They went through a process. It was two processes I could think of. Two processes that I could think of. The very first one is transmutation. I want you to write that in your notes. Transmutation. That's the first process every chairwoman goes through. I want to read you the actual definition. Now, y'all ain't going to be able to see my face right now because I'm on my phone. But, but just listen to my voice. You don't need to see me right now. Transmutation is defined as the action of changing or the state of being changed, here we go, you wanna underline this, into another form. The action of changing, or the state of being changed into another form. See, personal growth, it sounds like it's gonna be fun. Going chairwoman sounds like it's gonna be fun. But what if I told you that it meant getting deliberate, deliberately making yourself uncomfortable? What if I told you that it meant deliberately making yourself uncomfortable? Ladies, grapes must be crushed to make wine. I want you to hear me. Grapes must be crushed to make wine. Diamonds are formed under pressure. Diamonds are formed under pressure. Olives are pressed to release oil. I want you to understand what transmutation is. Seeds, they grow in the dark. Seeds, they grow in the dark. The first process that a chairwoman goes through is the state of being changed into another form. It's the state of being changed into another form. See, you can't get the oil until the olive has been pressed. You can't get the wine until the grape has been crushed. You can't get the diamond until the pressure has been applied. Are you guys hearing me? Are you hearing me right now? I want you to understand. 
about what you're asking because you might be asking God for ten thousand dollars a month but guess what God is saying and saying that I love this olive I love this grape but we got to go through a process I need to put you into another format see the tailor that you're hearing from right now is another format everybody put another format in the chat this is not tailored from a year and a half ago this tailor was crushed this tailor was stepped on this tailor was looked over this to this tailor was passed by this tailor was put down this tailor more importantly was built this chairwoman tailor was built i had to get into another format see some of you guys are afraid to get a new personality chairwoman get a new personality i'm introverted you would never be able to tell but guess what introverted was not paying me so i had to get into another format i had to step into another woman somebody else not that i didn't love myself but i understood what i was asking for i understood that i was called to dominate in this world i know that i was i was meant to have dominion and since i wasn't experiencing dominion in my life i had to go through a process i had to yield to a process i had to yield to a process because I understood, ladies, I understood that I was meant to dominate. And if dominating means that I have to go into another form, another format, let's do it. Bring it on. Everybody put, I'm ready in the chat. I said, God, I'm ready. I'm ready. See, I know it sounds good. I know it looks good. My chairwoman, Nicole, that girl looks good. I was just on her Instagram today. She looks amazing. But baby, you don't look like no wine until that grape been crushed. You don't look like no oil until that olive has been pressed. That's when you begin to see it. Let's not get this misunderstood. Let's keep it moving. I got another process. If you're ready for the second one, put a two in the chat. This is the second process that every chairwoman is going to go through. The first thing that we do is we be transmute. We go through transmutation. We're moving to another form. We're moving in another form. All right, you, about, you guys about to lose my face because I want to read the definition. Pay attention to my voice. The second, the second one is refining. Everybody put refine in the chat. Let me read to you what refine means. It means to remove. Oh, you got to get this. To refine means to remove impurities or unwanted elements from a substance, typically as part of an industrial process. Second definition, improve by making small changes, in particular, make an idea, theory, or method more subtle and more accurate. More subtle and more accurate. Put that in the chat more subtle and more accurate. See, I don't gotta say nothing when I walk into a room, I can sit in the back. I don't gotta wear the loudest clothing, I can wear the simplest clothing. You wanna know why? Cause that process made me more subtle and more accurate. Cause when I open up my voice, when I talk about what this company has done for me, when I talk about how trading has changed my life, it's because I went through a refining where I was more subtle and more accurate, but don't forget the first definition. It says remove, remove impurities. Remove impurities and unwanted, unwanted. See some stuff you're gonna have to let go in this process. See, not only are you gonna become a new form, but now you gotta remove some stuff and it's making you better. Losing that friend made you better. Losing that man made you better, sis. It got you close to the chairwoman. Yeah, losing that friend group made you better. Losing that job made you better. It was removed. See, sometimes you think stuff was taken from you. It was removed, Chairwoman Nicole. It was, it was removed. It wasn't taken. It was removed. Because that's the second process is removing the impurities and unwanted what did it say it said unwanted elements elements that i do not want impurities that i do not need so i can be crystal clear so i can be a diamond that's how you dominate that's how you get to domination 
See, one thing I, what I realized, Trey Woman Nicole, when I left Run the Play, I realized I was, even though it was something inside of me, I could feel it in my gut. Some of you guys right now, as you listening to me, it's something in your gut. It's something in your, we call it in church, your inner man, your belly that's aching. And what is it aching for? It's aching for more. It's aching for that highest version of yourself. But I need you to yield. Everybody put yield in the chat. I need you to yield to these processes. You really want to dominate in life? Yield to these processes. Yield to refining. Yield to transmutation. And watch what your life looks like in the next year. Watch how you speak in the next 365 days. Watch how you hop on a call like this in the next 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Watch how your life changed when you yield to those processes. You're going to begin to dominate. You're going to be able to walk in the full and total dominion that God has called you to. That God has literally set aside just for you. See, God made you to dominate. That's why I love the word misdominate. He made you to dominate. He made you to have dominion. And the only reason why you may not be experiencing dominion, the only reason why I wasn't experiencing dominion in that moment in time was because I still needed to go through this process and I embraced it. Everybody put embrace in the chat. You got to embrace these two processes. I got, if you want to know why I start, when I got home that night, chat with in the call, I start praising God. What am I praising for? I have no idea, but I just know it's a new level. Because it felt, it felt like birth. See, that ache that you're feeling is something that women, women do. It's called birth. Everybody put birth in the chat. It was an ache in my stomach. It was an ache in my heart. It was an ache in my soul. As I'm listening to all of these speakers that run the play, and I, I realized that it was because God was birthing something new through me. It, it was, he was birthing. He was pushing something new through me. It was a new baby. It was a new idea. It was a new business. It was a new chairwoman that was being birthed in that moment. But I had to yield to the process. So you love having the baby, but do you love the process? Do you love the labor? Put labor in the chat. Are you going to embrace the labor that it takes to birth something new? Are you going to embrace the pain that it takes to birth something new? Are you going to embrace the contraction? Are you going to embrace, or are they going to say, hey, do you want some medicine? No, I'm having this natural. I don't need no medicine. Don't give me no nothing. God put everything inside of me for me to be able to birth this through. Don't make it easier for me. Don't make it easier. Don't make it lighter on me. I have everything inside of me already to birth this through. Now, clearly, I ain't never had no kids, okay? So to my ladies, they're like, well, Taylor, you might feel different later. Look, I ain't never had no kids. I'm just going, just go with me here. Okay, go with me. Okay, but y'all get what I'm saying. Okay, is that you got to say, look, I got everything inside of me to push through this. I got everything inside of me to get me to that next level. Don't make it easier on me. I'm going to push this all the way through. I'm going to push this all the way through because God called me to it. He'll bring me through it. And I'm going to embrace this pain. I'm going to embrace this labor. I'm going to embrace these calls, these Zooms, these events. I'm going to embrace all of them because it comes with what I'm pushing through. See, God is tugging on your heart, chairwoman. He's tugging on you right now. He's telling you, I need you to believe bigger. I need you to make more calls. I need you to go out and I need you to meet new people. I'm pulling on you. It's by no mistake that the people who are on this call, do you believe? I believe there's people on this call who wasn't even on part one or part two. I believe that there's people on this call who completely miss every single other call but this one so that you can hear this, so that you can hear from me and Chairwoman Nicole. And we can tell you, tell you everything inside of you is everything that you need. And the things that God is removing, things that God is taking, you better thank him for it too. Because I promise you, he's refining you. He's refining you. He's making you more subtle and more accurate. Those two words kind of don't even go together. But more subtle and more accurate. See, there's so many chairwomen in this business. You can walk right past one and don't even know it until she get on the stage and start talking. More subtle and more accurate. Transmutation, going into another form. You really want to dominate these two processes 
are the ones that you need. And what I'm going to do, what I'm excited to do, to hear again, man, every time I hear this woman speak, I just think to myself, this is a type of woman that when I wasn't in this business and I saw this type of woman speak, this was the type of woman that made me join. The type of woman that Chairwoman Nicole was, if I was not in the business and I saw that type of woman speak, that type of woman would make me join. I didn't care what they were doing. Y'all could have been selling toothpaste. And if she got on the stage and speak and spoke, that's the type of chairwoman that I would have, that, that would have made me join just, just off top. So if you haven't already been taking notes, I need your note. If you got your notebook out, put a dominate in the chat. Don't play with this information. Don't play with it. When I tell you that this woman is so poised, so put together, like literally, when you think of chairwoman, I think of like, first of all, Nicole, this is probably the most I ever call you, Nicole, in my brain is Millionaire Welton. Like in my actual brain, I honestly forgot you had a first name. <laughs> that's the type of respect and that's the type of aura that she carries. Truly, truly somebody that when I think of dominating, not just in this business, in life, in relationships, in womanhood, I think of Miss Chairwoman Nicole Welton, millionaire, excuse me, millionaire Welton. And I'm so honored to have her on this call. I had to have her close out. I don't think it's any other better way. And I'm so grateful to, that she actually took out, to put a thank you in the chat. I need you to thank her before she even talks. Just thank her now. Thank you, Nicole. I, I want to thank you. I want to thank you before you even get to it. Because I know for a fact that number one, family, she don't even got to be on this call, especially to my Wealthy Empire family. You better show her some love. She don't have to be here. It's not benefit her none. But just the fact that she took out time on a Friday, she just got paid a nice check to pour into you. It means everything to me. So I want to thank you so much. I'm so ready to hear from you. So ready to train with you. I'm so excited and I'm ready to receive Thank you so much, Miss Millionaire Welton. We're ready for you. Hey, sis. Can everybody hear and see me? What's going on? What's going on? Hey, there we go. Listen, I want to first give it back to Miss Johnson, the first young lady that opened up the call. Listen, edification of the year. Queen, can we drop some crowns in the chat for Miss Johnson? I was just over here taking notes like, ooh, I like how she put that. I like how she put that. Queen, you are amazing. And to hear that you just joined the opportunity at the Lifestyle Leap event, I was there as well. It just definitely shows you the power of when someone makes a decision, right? And how their life is going to be impacted, right? When they make a decision, Queen, keep doing what you're doing. I know you're going to be the next chairwoman as well. Thank you for serving and opening up this call. But for my good sis, the woman there, listen, honey, I am so excited for you. Y'all go ahead and drop C20, CW25 in the chat for this queen. CW25 in the chat for this queen for everything that she does, the woman that she is and who she stands for. But more importantly, what I love about the woman and what I love about Miss Taylor Allen is that she is creating a lane in an avenue, right? She's a woman that goes forward. And what I mean, she's not, she don't care who supports it. She don't care who likes it. She is going to go forward to be a published author, to have so many other businesses and still be dominating, right? In this company, definitely show her a lot of love, queen. You, oh, you had me over here with chills, girl. Cause I'm like, listen, we're so in alignment because what I'm going to be speaking on this evening, ladies, right? I know when you hear from a chairwoman or a chairman, most of the time, you may be thinking they're going to be talking about building, right, 12 to 15 and, you know, showing the plan four to six times a day. I'm going to be talking this evening on belief, right? So I want everybody to drop the word belief in the chat. I'm going to be talking on belief and the power of believing. I truly know it will be four years for me in August that I've been a part of this amazing opportunity um definitely no cap has changed my life one of the best decisions I have ever made right but when you understand believing in the power that comes behind it everything changes but it first starts with believing 
I want to take you all down just really quickly a little bit about me because many of you this may be your first time hearing from me but as she said my name is Nicole Meaner Wilson I'm in Columbia South Carolina that's where I was born and raised and currently reside I'm 29 years old so your girl will be hitting 30 on her birthday yeah crossing over into a whole new dimension out here right <laughs> so, but definitely excited about that um, when I got started this opportunity August of 2017 I was a supervisor in a call center had 12 employees, but I was broken, broken, right? I was broke and broken, but I didn't know it. See, it's something amazing about an opportunity, right? I remember uh, my mentor, my coach, Mr. Marcus Simon, had brought this opportunity to me in the hallway at work, and he sent me a presentation video of David. Now, I'm be honest with y'all. I didn't know what David was talking about. I didn't know I've never heard of Forex, like didn't know anything about investing, but in my mind, I said, wait a minute, what really caught me when I saw what David um, on that opportunity presentation was he was talking about faith and belief. Didn't know what Forex was, but I said, man, to just see his posture, to see his confidence, he's shooting this video in his million dollar home, right? He looks like he, this believing thing has really worked. So I didn't even have the money at the time to join, right? Many of you may have been there, right? If you was there, go ahead and drop a one in the chat. Didn't even have the money at the time to join. I had to wait until my direct deposit hit on that Thursday. And as soon as my direct deposit hit from the job, I, I signed up, right? And I didn't really know what was going to come from the opportunity. I just said, listen, I know right now I want more money. I am a red in the winter all day. And when it comes to personality types, I said, I want to make more money. I need another way. This job thing is, is not working, right? I knew that for sure. But I didn't know coming in in 2017 the work and belief that was going to be required of me to work on myself and let me go ahead and take you ladies down a journey with me and just follow me and definitely take notes if, if as as i'm talking if something you'd be like ouch ooh, and it stings that's for you that's how you know it's for you when you hear something you be like oh and it stings that's for you right but let me take you down a little journey so when I got started in this business, right, again, my goal and objective was to make more money, right? So I came in like, listen, I want to make more money, but I thought that I could stay the same, right? I thought that I could stay the same. When they started talking about believing and listening to audios, Napoleon Hill, I was I'm like, I'm not doing none of that. <laughs> what is this, right? Because nobody in my whole 25 years of life has ever told me really the power of believing, right? Or told me about personal growth and self-development, right? I didn't know that was even a thing. So again, I came in very, un, um, you know, not teachable and coachable. And I'm like, man, I'm not doing that. I'm just about to go try to run this bag up, right? And then I ran into adversity, right? People started telling me, no, I'm not going to join this scam, this Ponzi scheme, this pyramid scheme. And me, because I'm a red and I'm a winter, I took it personal, right? How many of us have taken the notes personal? Drop some threes in the chat, right? Oh, somebody said, oh, oh, okay, right? I took it personal. I'm like, what you mean? You're not going to join. Ah, ah, what you mean it's a scam? Ah, ah, going off, right? Going off, taking it personal because I, I didn't really understand, number one, the value of the opportunity. Number two, the value of myself. See, if you're taking someone telling you no to your business personal and telling you, no, it's a scam, it's a pyramid scheme personal, and you're trying to defend it, you don't understand the value of this business. But more importantly, you don't understand the value of you, right? See, Ms. Allen hit on it when she said that you got to be able to understand that, number one, with what we do, this is not even for everybody, Right. Do y'all know that with what we do? I know we prospect. Right. And we present the opportunity to a lot of people. But this is not for everybody. Why? Because if you look at the cash flow quadrant, ladies, that's never going to change. Ninety five percent of people in today's society only have access and control over five percent of the world's wealth. That's never going to change. But the one percent are the investors. These numbers are never going to change. So you got to stop taking this stuff so personal when somebody tells you no, when somebody tells you it's a scam, it's a scheme, it's all these things. You got to understand that 
in this business, right? When you join this opportunity, the personal growth and self-development is so critical. Why? Because you got to reprogram everything that you know and everything you've been taught. Everything that you know and everything <laughs> that you've been taught, you have to reprogram yourself. So as I kept getting into adversity, right? People telling me, no, I said, well, you know what? I'm not building no more. I'm not building. I'm not doing this building thing no more, right? Then I go trade. Then I go blow a trading account. I said, okay, well, all right, well, let me go back and uh, try to build, <laughs> right? Oh, you know, I blew the trading account. So that, that didn't work either. So let me go try to recruit some people, right? And I was going through this cycle until I had to look in the mirror and say, sis, it's you. Wait a minute. Sis, it's you. Because you attract who you are, right? You attract who you are. So I understood that if I wanted to really start attracting different leaders, people with different beliefs, people who really wanted an opportunity to be financially free, people who really understood that it's more out here in life besides clocking in and out, I had to become that. Right? I had to become that. And the thing I love about becoming, I-N-G, it's a verb because it's constantly a process, right? It doesn't stop at Chairman 10. It doesn't stop at Chairman 50, Chairman 100. It doesn't even stop at Chairman 750, right? You're constantly becoming. It's a process, right? It's levels to this. That's just not a saying in a song, right? It's actually levels to this because it's levels to you. So you got to be able to go through and seek, well, what woman am I meant to become? What is that process, as Taylor talked about, what does that process really look like? Because a lot of time as women, I don't know, like how real can I can I keep it? Y'all let me know. Can I can I go there or or is this kind of censored? I gotta, I gotta ask, you know. Oh, oh, okay. Perfect. See that process, it's nothing cute about it, sis. Nothing cute about it. And what do I mean by that? I mean you gotta really go all the way within yourself all the way within yourself because see so many times we look at this opportunity and we only see the money we only see becoming rich but you got to understand are you a woman that can handle that type of responsibility right it's one thing to get the money but can you handle it when you get to that level are you ready for what you're even asking for because see a lot of us ask for five thousand a month ten thousand a month twenty five thousand a month but can you handle what comes with asking for that are you prepared for that because see that's where the real work has to begin with you in believing see it's nothing wrong with change see i know growing up at least for me a lot of people especially where i'm from right come from very humble beginnings they made change seem like a bad thing oh you changed you switched up but see, now because I my belief level is different, now because my confidence level is different, I'm like, I was supposed to. What you mean? Yeah, you're right. I did change. You're right. I did switch up. I was supposed to. <laughs> was I supposed to stay the same and broke? What's up? <laughs> was I supposed to stay the same and broke? I was supposed to change. I was supposed to be acting different because the goal is set on seven figures, right? The woman I was four years ago couldn't even handle six. Listen, you got to be able to go there and not look for who's going to support you, not look for who's going to give you a round of applause, not look for who's going to congratulate you. You got to give yourself all of these things. Can you congratulate yourself now without the audience? Can you congratulate yourself now without the support? Can you pat yourself on the back now? Can you have that confidence and belief now before any of that even comes? Because see, the beautiful part about having belief and really saying it's already done is acting if it's already done. It's acting if it's already done. See, the great thing I, I love about the last almost four years of being in this business is that it exposes who you are, right? It exposes who you are. 
And one of the things that Good Sis Taylor mentioned is that you got to remove a lot of things. You got to really remove a lot of things, a lot of habits, a lot of thoughts. Like you got to really remove those things to make way, right? To make way for the blessing that's coming, to make way for you to really be able to reach your destiny. See, you, one of the things you got to understand is that how can you go into a new dimension or reach a new level of success with the same old baggage? See, your load heavy, sis, because you're carrying the same old baggage from five years ago, 10 years ago. you having the same conversations. So you got to understand in some seasons, you got to drop that weight. Listen, you got to drop that weight. See, why do we throw things in the trash can? Because we're done with it. And what do you do when the trash is full? You take it out. You take it out. When the trash is full, do you let it continue to just sit in your house and sit in your house and sit in your house and sit in your house? No, when it's full, you take it out. But see, we still carrying a bag full of old baggage, a bag full of things that don't serve us, a bag full of insecurities, a bag full of doubts, a bag full of fear. When are you going to take it out? I'm sorry. When are you going to empty the trash and take it out? Because you're trying to go into another season, a new dimension of your life with so many things holding you back. You got to make a decision. You got to do this for you. Some people, what I truly know in this business, you have to leave behind and come back and get them. Right? You, you have to leave them behind and come back you gotta leave them behind go level up and then come back what do i mean by that let me give you a good analogy of my good sis harriet tubman listen that was a bad woman i love harriet tubman that was a bad woman and let me tell you why she knew in her heart that she didn't want to be a slave that she wanted to be free and she was going to reach freedom she knew that so what did she have to do? She had so many people around her, the naysayers, you're never going to be free. You're run away. You're going to get killed. You're not going to make it. You're not going to succeed. She had all these people, but what did she do? She still was able to achieve the mission of being free. But once she did it, she went back. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. My sons, what she, but she had to do it though. She had to go free herself first, right? Because everybody was doubting her. They said, sis, you don't need to do that. It's too dangerous. You're not going to make it that far. You got to understand the time period we in. She couldn't even read. Are you, are you serious? She didn't have no GPS on Siri. Are you serious? She had no GPS on Siri? What's up? But she was able to set herself free and then come back. And then come back because as she was setting herself free, she found the way she found the way and she was able to come back and help other people take the same exact path she took. God, oh my God, that's a word for somebody. I don't know who, but let me tell you what's even better about that story, right? Harriet Tubman said it even herself. Yes, I freed a thousand slaves, but but I could have freed a thousand more if they knew there were slaves. Yes, I freed a thousand slaves, but I could have freed a thousand more if they knew they were slaves. Do you know sis went back and some people still didn't want to go? They said, we meant to, we can't be like you. We meant to be slaves. We can't be free like you. We meant to do this. And that's the same thing with your business. Some people meant to work a nine to five. If that's what they want to do, they don't want financial freedom. You can't force this on everybody. This ain't the move and the groove and the trend for everybody, right? This ain't something that's cool for everybody. Some people rather do that and complain about the job and do nothing different. So if you go back and they still don't come, you've done your part. You've done your part. So when she said that, and in my mind, that helped me with my posture 
to not start to stop taking it so personal. I'm like, listen, my girl said, yeah, she freed a thousand slaves, but could have freed a thousand more if they knew they were slaves. It's the same thing in the business. Not everybody want to be rich. And we're not just talking about money. We're talking about mindset. We're talking about spirituality. Not everybody wants that. So if I've done my part in being the messenger and letting you know the opportunity because somebody let me know and you don't take advantage of it, that's on you. That's on you. But let me tell you what happens. As you continue to be consistent, as you continue to be here, because some of you, you got to be here. You got to stick and stay and get your pay, as my mentor, Mrs. Garrison, would always say, right? You got to actually be here. Because it was people in 2017 that told me no. It was people in 2018 that looked at me like I was crazy. It was people in 2019 that asked me, hey, you still do that Forex thing? I'm ready to sign up. It was people in 2020 that I talked to in 2017 and said, hey, girl, dang, you still doing that Forex thing? How can I get started? It's people right now today in 2021 said, man, you don't work a job no more and you still doing that Forex thing? Sis, you got to put me on. Listen, just do your part. That's it. Do your part in understanding that those who are ready, they're going to join. Those who are not, it may be not right now, but eventually, as they continue to see your life change, as they continue to see the woman you're blossoming into. See, one of the things that I was so afraid of when I got started in this business was my social media. And I remember asking my mentor to say, yo, do I need another Facebook? They said, no, keep it. Let me tell you why I was so afraid. Cause I was a party girl, okay? It's Friday night. The old me, I would already been at the bar or on my way to the bar. Cause I ain't get there before 11. So I'd probably been on the way, right? <laughs> the old me, when I got started in this opportunity and started believing it started doing the personal growth and self-development. I almost felt the shame, like, oh my God, what well, do I need to just start over? And the best advice my mentors gave me was no. Because I'm like, yo, nobody's gonna join me. They're gonna look and see that I just I ain't had on no clothes. They're gonna look and see I was drunk. They're gonna look and see the messages I was writing on Facebook, the post, the profanity that I, 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 I was ashamed. But now looking back at it, it's the growth. Now looking back at it. I was grateful for those experiences because it shaped me into the woman I am today. It's some things with some, some of you women on this call, you don't need to be ashamed of anymore. The past is the past for a reason, but what you don't need to do is beat yourself up for the past and embrace the woman you are becoming. See, you got to understand that if we didn't have past experiences, if we didn't have the relationships we had to finally finally, finally, finally let go, right? Finally say deuces to, you would not be the woman who you are right now in this opportunity. You wouldn't even appreciate it as much if it was easy, right? If you didn't go through that, you wouldn't even appreciate and be happy and grateful. Why do you think we say we're so happy and grateful now? It's just not to affirm the affirmation. It's because I'm so happy and grateful now that God was able to deliver me from who I was that God was able to save me from myself, that God was able to change my mindset, my thoughts. Because one of the things I put together is, and the power of believing is this, it doesn't matter whether you believe something negative or positive, they both can manifest. It's powerful. Follow me. It doesn't matter if your believing is on something negative or positive. They both can manifest. So what I realized is I started getting into this believing thing and this manifestation thing, and I started tracking where I used to be. I was speaking everything that was going on in my life. Crazy. Everything that was going on in my life, I had spoke. 
Every time I looked at my bank account and said, oh my God, I'm always broke. Oh my God, I never have money. Oh my God, I know he gonna cheat too. Oh my God, I know he gonna be a dog too. Oh my God, oh my God, I hate this, I hate that. I spoke that, yeah, mm -hmm. I did. So when you start to understand and have the awareness, drop awareness in the chat. When you start to understand and have the awareness, use it for the opposite. Oh my God, it's a million dollars in my account. God doggone it. Shouts out to Jesus, ain't he good? Oh my God, you gonna bring my husband God? Oh, I know it's already done. Oh my God, you gonna bring my dream car? Oh my God, I know it's already done. Five bedrooms, right, right, three bathrooms. Oh, you gonna have my, my car too? Oh my God, I know it's already done. I can see me in it right now. Right, red interior, right, nice ride, white, chrome wheels. It's already done, oh my God. Because when you have the awareness <laughs> that life in depth is in the power of the tongue, you start speaking differently. You don't look at chairman 10, chairwoman 10 as something that's impossible. Because see, a lot of us are saying on these calls, yeah, I'm going to be chairwoman 10. I'm going chairwoman 10. But really, you like, I don't even know how the hell that's going to get done. I don't know about that. Mm, that's a long shot. Wait a minute. That's the opposite. You see what I'm saying? See, it's one thing to type it in the chat. Trust me, ladies. But it's another thing to have it in your heart as a desire to believe it. Because when you put the desire and the belief behind it, what happens? You put the work in it. What happens? The results start coming. What happened? The people start coming. People start hitting you up. You didn't even know. Because when you let go of the how and have the belief and put in the work, it comes together. Right? Four years ago, 500 people sounded like a lot. It did. I'm there with you. I'm not going to despise that. 500 people, that's like, sheesh, do I even know 500 people? But I had to realize the woman who I was. No, I, I didn't know 500 of the right people. No, I didn't. I was in the club. No, I didn't know 500 people because I didn't even believe in myself. No, no, I didn't know 500 people, right? Because I wasn't doing nothing to get me a different result. But when you don't look at it as such a long shot, you don't look at it as it's such a big thing, and you understand it's 7.6 billion people in the world, oh, 500... Oh, that's it. Oh, God, it's done. Let's go. That's light work. Let's go. How many people can I help? How many people can I impact? Let's go. Let's go. Because as Taylor said, one of the things I want to hit on too that she said about being a first six figure earner in your family. And, you know, a lot of people think it is pretty and it's cute and all that, right? I remember specifically once I did start believing for because it took a while to start believing for a chairwoman 10 and I got it done I remember along my journey not feeling deserving my on my run not feeling deserving I want everybody to, in the chat right now to write I am deserving this is huge this is huge this is huge especially for us as women right I remember feeling like man I'm just a girl from the hood, like, man, I'm, I have seen a lot. I've been through a lot. Dang, 10,000 a month? Man, like, me? Ugh. I am deserving. You got to know that anything is possible when you know it's possible. Because, see, your mentor can tell you all day, girl, you got this. Girl, you can get P1 done. You can get P2 done. You can get P, you can get P5 done. But if you don't feel like you deserve it, if you don't have the belief, it's not going to get done. I want y'all to understand that. Your mentor can motivate you and talk to you till they're blue in the face. They can send you a thousand sermons. They can send you a thousand affirmations. But until you believe it and know that you're deserving, it's not going to happen. Your posture got to be, why not me? Got dog on it? Why not? Why not me at 10000 a month? Yeah, that's me. Why not me? Because my heart is on people. Why not me? I can see myself as that woman, right? Why not me on the stage? Right? Why not me? 
But it starts now with you believing and knowing that you're deserving, right? Getting out there, right? How can you build your confidence and your belief, right? Start going live. Let's be honest. How many of you haven't done a Facebook live or Instagram live? Drop a two in the chat. Let's be honest. Drop a two in the chat if you have not done an Instagram or Facebook live. Today is the 21st. By the end of this month, go live. Only the people who believe, only the women who believe and know that they're deserving are going to do it, right? Go live. Now, the next question normally be, when well, Nicole, what am I going to talk about? Talk about you. Talk about you. Doesn't have to be, oh, I made this amount of money. I was trading HFX. I made money in minutes. Talk about the mindset. Talk about the personal growth and self-development. Talk about why you even chose to be an investor. Why you even chose to do this. Talk about you. See, because people don't join businesses, they join who? You. Do y'all understand that's why Christopher Terry is such a genius to create I Mark is live. I mean, I am Master Academy, right? Because he understood that people wasn't joining just for the education, right? It wasn't just joining because if he wanted people just to join I Mark is live or I am Master Academy, he wouldn't have had network marketing. This would have been strictly an online platform. You go online, you sign up, take the classes, get on the go live sessions. That's it. But the power comes in from it being a network marketing component because of you. People trust you. People value you. People look up to you. That's why the network marketing component is such genius because he knew that it was going to be so many people with the belief, with the confidence, with the posture that was going to be able to take his vision, his idea across nations, across the world. It's you. That's why I tell people building a business. Yeah, I know we say in the presentation, um, you can be a customer and it's optional. But why is but why would it be optional when it works? Why would it why would it be optional when this actually works? Because see, for a lot of people right now, their job can become optional if they had this opportunity right? Their job can become optional if they had this opportunity. But it could be one of you ladies that just reach out to someone who's been looking and hoping and praying, right? Their prayers at night. See, that's the great thing about having prayers. That's the great thing about having belief because you can literally pick up your phone and call somebody tomorrow and say, hey, yeah, we got to, I, I just want to let you know I'm working on one of the biggest projects of my life. I want you to be a part of it. I'm going to be making $10,000 a month in the next 90 days. And I'm calling everybody in my phone. And I want you to be a part of that. Are you available tonight? Take a look at it. It's going to be one of those people you reach out to that see this. Life change. Because think about this when you have hesitations on building a business. Think about the person that personally signed you up. Imagine you saw them winning. Imagine you saw them traveling all around the world, living their best life, making money, and you reached out to them and they say, no, 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 wait a minute. I don't help people do what I do. I don't teach people this. I don't help. How would that have made you feel? If you reached out to someone about this and they told you no, they don't help people. How would that have made you feel? Let me see it in the chat. Let's be honest, right? If you reach out to them, because you see they winning. You see they trading account. You see them posting. They traveling all around the world. They ain't working no job. And they say, no, I don't help people. I don't share. Hmm. I don't share. I don't share this opportunity. Hmm. You see all these comments confused, hurt, like, dang, why not? Rude. All of those things are the same thing you should tell yourself when you don't help someone else. 
okay, maybe I'm stepping on toes. I'm sorry, let me back up. The same things y'all dropping in the chat of how you would have felt if you reached out to somebody and they told you no, huh, I don't share this. Feel that when you don't want to share this opportunity. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Y'all not understand that? The fact that I did share the opportunity, it's been people who I've brung in that now have become family that have made way more money than me trading. And I love to say that. Why? Because I shared the opportunity. I didn't teach them the damn skill set. Okay. I want to really give y'all the game on this, right? I shared the opportunity. See, Christopher Terry doesn't need me to teach anyone how to trade. He got that down pat. He got the academy. He got the go live sessions. He got the products. He doesn't need me for that. That's down packed. That's taken care of, right? An independent business owner, I'm the messenger, right? To now help other people get access for them to win. For them to win. I'm the support. I'm the messenger. I'm the avenue. I'm the connect. Ooh, I'm the connect. Listen, I'm the connect, right? To give them access to everything that's gonna help them win. You understand that? See, a lot of us feel like we gotta be so great and amazing at trading before we start building our business where the fastest way to start working your way towards financial freedom is building your business. Because how much different would your trading account be if you're making five and $10,000 a month? You want me putting $50 in there? Okay, never mind. Right? If you're making five to $10,000 a month, you don't have to put $50 in your trading account. You can put a stack or a couple stacks. Hmm, because the company gave it to you. Are you serious? Because <laughs> the company giving me a couple stacks will let me go multiply this then. That only makes sense. Let me go multiply this. It only makes sense. Let me go turn this 2,500. It's a 10 by next week. It only makes sense. So now I still got 25, 25, 25, 25. But I turned that 25 into 10. So I now got 10 for the month and another 10. 20 for the month? Like, only makes sense. Be the messenger in the connect. You are the messenger in the connect. That's what I love about this. You can have somebody come in Brand new, 24 hours, get $150 per month. That's your money for trading? Brand new, $1,000 a month, less than 30 days. That's your money to pay for your education. That's your money to create your digital investment portfolio. That's your money, right, to start trading with? Because you at the company, Christopher Terry, is paying you $1,000 per month. So let him pay for your education. Let him fund how you're going to invest in cryptos. Let him fund your live account. It only makes like, like, why not? Right. Somebody just said like, why not? Seriously. Listen, when I caught on to that, I said, oh, it's game over. We running. We running. Because see, the thing about the skill set, this takes time. You're not going to learn trading in 30 days, but I can show you how to get to $1,000 a month in 30 days. What's up? Why not? Why not? You're not going to learn trading in 30 days. I can tell you coming in. You're not. Now, are you going to be better than you was signing up? Absolutely. Will you make some money? Absolutely. But I can show you for sure, for sure. 100% for sure. How to get to $1,000 a month, though, in 30 days. I can show you that for sure. So now, as you are learning, as you are utilizing the products and services, this is money for your investment account. Why not? That has got to be your posture, right? That has got to be your attitude. I want to read you all um, a Bible verse as I'm closing up because I know I can get spirit led and listen. I didn't even realize it was 11 11. Shouts out to 11 11. Make a wish, right? 
Make a wish, 11 11. See, look at that. Look, the rat the time was 11 11. Look at God talking on the call tonight. Listen, listen, listen. I actually shared with, I did a confidence course um, at the beginning of this month, and I shared this Bible verse with the ladies on my confidence course. And I just came across this actually in my reading and my meditation. I definitely love the word. I love God because one of the things I realized about this, this, this book, the Bible, one of the things I realized about it, anything that we're feeling, anything that we're going through, I guarantee you can find the answer and the solution through prayer and in this word and in this word. And one thing that really stood out to me, I love Luke. So if you ladies have your Bibles, if you want to take it down and definitely go back and read it at any time, that's fine. I'm going to be reading Luke verse 45. So chapter one, excuse me, Luke chapter one, verse 45 through 50. That's Luke chapter one, verse 45 through 50. Okay. Blessed is she who believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. Already out the gate. Blessed is she who believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. And Mary said, my soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. One more time, real quick. One more time. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. And Mary said, my soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. Listen, you got to do this for generations, baby. This ain't about you no more. This is it. In his word, I didn't, I didn't make this up. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. So me sacrificing, me changing the old me, me going through this, me diving into the personal growth and self-development, me having the confidence, me falling in love with myself and then with God. Because of that, all generations will call me blessed for he's done great things for me. And his mercy will extend for those who fear him for generation to generation. So because you made a decision to be different, to be different, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. <laughs> See, when I told people I was gonna be a millionaire, it looked at me like I was retarded. They say what? I even had some people say, why you want to be a millionaire? You, you being greedy. That's too much money. I said, oh, you don't know the father I serve. Oh, my God. He going to not only take me to a million, he's going to make me a billionaire too, but a million the first stop. You don't know the God I serve. It's never too much. Blessed is she who believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. See, one thing about men and women, men lie, women lie. But God, he keep his word. That's right. Men lie, women lie. But God, he keep his word. If he made it a promise to you, he's going to fulfill that promise. But we got to understand how God works. He got to be able to trust you with what comes with the fulfillment of that promise. Can he trust you at 10000 a month? Can he trust you're going to do the right things? Can he trust you you're not going to put money and love money more than you love him? Can he trust you with that? Can he trust you? And that's why you got to work on yourself, work on your heart, work on your spirit. I tell you, it's nothing, it's nothing more rewarding and fulfilling than being healed and knowing you're deserving. Healed and knowing you're deserving. 
looking back on past experiences and being grateful, not being hurt, because I know that God said he's going to fulfill the promises to me if I believe. Can you believe tonight, ladies? Can we believe? We over. Hey, come on and trade Forex. We over that. We're talking about generations and generations. We're talking about going from poverty to abundance. This is bigger than learning how to mark up a chart. We got to understand what comes with the fulfillment. That's why I respect Jesus so much. And in closing, I'm going to leave you with this last analogy. I got this in my spirit. I, I can't leave this one now. See, and I haven't even talked publicly about this yet, but I'm going to get on. I'm going to get on. I'm going to do a call on it. But see, it's on my spirit. So I got to share it with y'all first real quick. See, do y'all know who the first go to network marketing was? Let me see. Where y'all thinking at tonight? Who was the first original go to network mark? Come on now. Jesus. Let me, let me tell you why. He handpicked his 12. Handpicked 12. And because he handpicked 12, developed 12, loved 12, nurtured, taught them the word, taught them the gospel, taught them the power of believing, taught them about the power of his word. Even after he was dead, they went and spread to nations and nations and millions and billions of people. But he handpicked 12. Duplication. Let's go. He handpicked 12. The 12 wasn't perfect. They all had ish going on. All of them. So we got to get out the mindset. We got to be perfect to get started we got to be perfect to start building this business we got to be perfect to be the messenger that we got to be perfect to be the connect no the 12 wasn't perfect y'all know who the 12 was come on but he hand picked the 12 and he developed them he taught them about belief he taught them about the higher power he taught them about the word he taught them about serving, about serving. And even after he was dead and gone, listen, it rose again. The 12 went to spread the word and the gospel to nations and millions. Jesus couldn't have done that by himself. That's why he handpicked 12 people. You're not going to go chairman by yourself. Like, hello, you're not going to go chairman by yourself. So you got to be in the season of building your team. You got to be in the season of pouring back into other people. You got to be in the season of giving. And what do I mean by that? Opening your mouth. Opening your mouth because these 12 people had all this ish going on before Jesus got to him because he opened up his mouth. Because he opened up his mouth to spread the word, to spread the gospel. Are you serious right now? Are you kidding me? He opened because he opened up his mouth. Look what happened. We will forever know the 12 and the work they did. The work Jesus did. Generations and generations and generations and generations know about Jesus in the 12. What are they going to know about you? What are they going to know about you? That's right. That's right. Party girl to preacher. Let's go. That's right. What are they going to know about you? That's why I love this because, see, I understood that as long as I stayed working my job, I was going to continue to be in a comfort zone. I get paid every two weeks. I got health insurance. I had free internet and cable. But when I had to build this business, I had to really get to know myself. 
I had to know who that woman was that was looking back at me before I put the lashes on, before I put the wig on, before I drew on my brows and all that good stuff. I had to know who that woman, I had to know who she was because you got to know who you are. If you're trying to impact generations and generations and generations and generations, you got to know who you are. So now you can go and build your team. Now you can pour into other people. Y'all, this is simple. We make it hard and we overthink it. It's time to get to work. One of the things we, um, um, shouts out to um, Dr. Spill's wife, Mrs. Teresa Spill's, shouts out to that amazing queen. One of the things that she said that was so powerful is that as women, we have so much power, but check this out. There's still not a chairwoman 500 yet or chairwoman 750 yet. We got work to do. This is not time to be afraid, to be scared. You got to open your mouth. We got work to do. Why? Because see, this is not like back in the day where a woman only had one role and one job to be a wife and have babies cook and clean. This is not back in the day. This is 2021 where the woman is earning seven figures. The woman has multiple business. Oh, she got the rock on her finger too. Yes, yeah, she got the churn. She got the house. She got the car. She got the credit. She got it all. It's 2021. Okay. The roles have changed. Yes, we do it all. We go to the top and we bring it up to the top because as Taylor said at the beginning, we birth things. Who can do it better than a woman? No one can ever. Could you imagine a man trying to go through labor and having a baby? Wait a minute, before we even get, can you imagine a man even having a period every month, going through menstrual cramps? Have, who better? Who better to do it? Who better? See, so you gotta understand your power that comes behind that. You gotta understand your voice. So you gotta open your mouth. I want everybody to drop in the chat as we're closing. Open your mouth, open your mouth. You got to open your mouth because as you continue to open up your mouth, people are going to hear it. They're 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 going to hear it. But if you continue to be a secret agent and you don't open up your mouth, nobody's going to hear it. So nobody's going to be able to join. Nobody's going to be able to change their life. But when you open up your mouth, they're going to hear it. They're going to see it. They're going to join. They're going to change their life. Generation to generation, generations. Open up your mouth. That's it. So many people be asking, well, just tell me, you know, like what to do. Like, I, I, I know it got to be something special. I know it got to be like a secret. There is none. There is none. Have belief, know you're deserving and open up your mouth. Go live, get on social media. This is not back in the day network marketing where we got to go outside and knock on doors and stand in the mall. We can get on social media and build our businesses. We can go to Walmart and start building our businesses. But guess what? We have other outlets. Back in the day, to be a six-figure under network marketer, you had to be passing out CDs, baby, knocking on doors. All you got to do is get cute and stand behind a Zoom, pull up your phone and go on live, and you can make 10000 a month? What? <laughs> Sis, open your mouth. Go talk. What's up? That's it. <laughs> and that is it. That is it. Like, listen. So, listen, that's it. That's all you got to do. And then now we had, look, the best thing that could have happened was quarantine, right? I don't, man, last year, I don't think I even wore clothes from the bottom down. I think I might have pajama pants on all my Zooms, but you would have never knew. Pajama pants, slippers, but from the neck up, your girl was put together. But I got the 10000 a month. Sitting at, sit, sitting at the house, on Zoom, on Facebook, on Instagram. At the house. Listen, sis, just open your mouth. You got it. You got it. Listen, pajama pants showing the plan. That's right. That was my everyday attire. All I did was get a clean shirt and make sure my face was done. That's it. And was rocking it. They're like, oh, Nicole, you look so cute. I'm like, I, I do. You don't need to know it. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't even know it, right? Y'all got it. So if y'all for real gonna run this bag up, I wanna see what you're believing for in the chat in the next 90 days. What would we be celebrating you all for in the next 90 days? What's gonna be your rank achievement? What are you believing for? What are you deserving of in the next 90 days? Chairwoman 50 is already done. Chairwoman 10, Chairwoman 10. Keep Chairwoman 10. Chairwoman, listen. Oh, my Lord. Come on, Chairwoman 10. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. P2000, P5, CW10, P6, P6, P5, P, P6, P1000, P2000, Chairwoman 10, Platinum 1000. See, listen. Platinum 2000, listen. It's already happening. We just got to open up our mouth. That's it, Queens. Seriously, don't leave this call just hyped and motivated. Like, leave this call really ready to work. I promise you, this is nothing but a numbers game. This is nothing but a numbers game. Go through the numbers. You are the connect. You are the messenger. People are going to tell you no. But I guess what? When they tell you no, you're still going to be breathing. You're still going to be making money trading and you're still going to be impacting families. It's okay. This is a numbers game. You need to be literally locking down. I already said my head is down. My head is down. Running this play, talking to people, saving souls who want to be saved. So that's the thing even about Jesus' word. He couldn't save everybody. Not everybody wanted to be saved. You got to understand. We're not exempt from this, guys, ladies, right? So I, I love y'all so much. Taylor, I didn't know if you wanted to come back on, Queen, but I really just thank you so much for having me on the call and just having me be able to speak with your ladies. And this is just a dominating season for the woman to be able to see that so many women are going to be able to hit seven, six and seven figures is a blessing. And I just appreciate all you ladies for listening to me run my mouth. Thank you so much, Taylor. I'll pass it back over to you, Queen. I truly appreciate you. Let's go. Drop some love in the chat. For Miss Millionaire Welton. What? Every time you hear a chairwoman, I mean, it just makes so much sense. You're no longer confused. You're no longer confused at all. You guys have gotten more than enough information in the past two weeks. I uploaded every single, every single night. Every single night. There, there is no, they left it all on the line. Miss Chairwoman Welton just left it all on the line for you. She even went a little bit, put another thank you in the chat. She said, I'm gonna give you 20 minutes more, just in case. I, we really gotta appreciate her time though. Like really appreciate her time. She said, I'm gonna give you 20 minutes more, just in case. I'm going to give you some unreleased gems. She gave you an unreleased gem, okay? She ain't released that yet, all right? When you post it on the gram, it ain't been released yet. I thank you so much, Chairwoman Nicole. Chairwoman Millionaire Welton. Let me, let me get it right. Chairwoman Millionaire Welton. I, every single minute, every single word that you just really just gave us, we appreciate it for it. We honor you for it. I'm so grateful once again, to just be connected, to be in the space. I'm so grateful and honored that you even accepted to be available for tonight. And you even went as far as to really, really lay it all out. Like I said before, there's nothing left to say. I just had to come on just to say thank you again. And I also want to thank every single lady that tuned in the past two weeks. You Look, I'm going to be honest with you, you got what you needed. I'm going to be honest with you, you got what you needed. And if you didn't, that just means that you need to go through the recording. So I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you next time.